Imagine looking out your window and seeing the earth opening up a giant hole and swallowing anything and anyone that happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Here are nine of the most extraordinary and devastating sinkholes. Number nine, the cement truck sinkhole. One of the truly most dangerous things about sinkholes is that they can form out of nowhere. They can be small or they can be massive. And in this case, massive enough to devour an entire cement truck. This unfortunate event happened in Russia to Adam Zubarev, 47. He was headed to a building site in the city of Voronez when he suddenly came to an abrupt stop after the ground started to collapse beneath him. This was all captured on the camera of the car behind the truck. Adam was fine and was able to get out of the truck before things got worse, but it certainly was a jarring experience. He said, I was traveling pretty fast when suddenly I felt the truck bump as if I had hit something and came to a stop, which sent me flying forward. I had absolutely no idea what happened, but then it started lifting in the air and suddenly I was looking at the sky. I opened the door and jumped out as quickly as possible and realized that almost the entire lorry had vanished into a hole in the ground. Just as interesting though, is that this truck was filled with cement and the load went off as it's known, meaning that it was fully hardened and was then even harder to get out of the ground, which would have been a challenge on its own because the last thing you want near a sinkhole is a large heavy crane that might open the hole even more. Number eight, the boiling highway sinkhole. Again in Russia, only this time near the city of Tayumen was the highway that, until this incident, was completely safe to drive on. However, over time, there was an indentation in the road that slowly but surely formed into a giant sinkhole that swallowed a large piece of the road, leaving drivers passing perilously close to the edge. The sinkhole alone was a problem, but when people started to look into the hole, they were met with another surprise. It was full of boiling water, which isn't something you'd expect from sinkholes as they're usually large deep pits. However, authorities who investigated the incident noted that it was caused by a hot water pipe bursting beneath the highway. The sudden infusion of hot water weakened the earth until a sinkhole was formed. A small pool of boiling water could be seen underneath two large roadside pipes after the large section of the road crumbled into the scorching water. Thankfully, no one was hurt this time, but only a few days before, two men in another Russian city were boiled alive when their vehicle was unable to avoid the boiling sinkhole that formed out of nowhere. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and be sure to subscribe for more videos like these. Number seven, the 2012 Louisiana sinkhole. A sinkhole on land is disastrous, but what about one that happens underwater? This is exactly what happened in Louisiana where a sinkhole opened and didn't stop growing. A salt dome under a large body of water collapsed, and when it did, the water mixed with the earth in a way that created a massive sinkhole. When it was first reported, authorities got onto a boat, went into the water, and tried to see how dangerous it was. That doesn't really sound like a great idea to me, but okay. When they did, the sinkhole expanded, and the pull and depth of the sinkhole were so great that it started to pull in nearby trees, and caused many waves on the water and even changed the composition of the water because it was mixing with large amounts of dirt. The expansion didn't stop there though. In fact, it kept going, so much so that the town located near the sinkhole was evacuated and it soon encompassed 24 acres of land and was said to be 750 feet deep. For the record, it grew so big that it could actually be seen on Google Earth. Can you imagine how scary that would be? Not only did this monster sinkhole swallow trees, every few weeks it burped up between 20 to 100 barrels of crude oil. It also unlocked an underground reserve of natural gas that would seep beneath the nearby houses and put everyone around at risk of natural gas explosions. The company that owned the salt dome that collapsed was later sued and for good reason. Number six, the Silicon sinkhole. This particular sinkhole is one that really could have been prevented and was very unexpected when things went very, very wrong. It happened near the small mining town of Silikamsk in Russia's Perm region. Lots of sinkholes going on in Russia. The mine that they were next to had flooded after a rainy night. 
Their intent was to go and pump out the water so they could get back to work. So to ensure that nothing untoward happened to the people, they evacuated everyone, just in case. They knew the water could potentially do some damage. The evacuation turned out to be a very good idea because when they returned to the village, some of it was missing due to a huge sinkhole that had formed from the flooding and the seeping water into the earth. It started at about 30 meters and then kept expanding until it grew to its current size at 125 meters. From being huge, the sinkhole has become gigantic, Medusa News Agency said in a report accompanied by pictures of the crater. Because of how large it grew and the fear that it could still expand, the people of the village were unable to return to their homes. So it started out as a rather simple case of flooding turned into a giant sinkhole. Number five, the Lake Peñor salt mine disaster. Lake Peñor was a popular spot for locals to hang out, play some sports, or relax. In 1980, on a November morning, a Texaco oil rig team noticed that their drill had started to seize up below the surface of the shallow lake. They were curious about this, but kept drilling. The 12 men working on the rig were baffled when they couldn't free the drill. Then, following a series of loud pops, their platform began to tilt toward the water. Alarmed, the men scrambled quickly to the shore. They had no idea that they had just tapped into a salt mine. In a course of minutes, things went from bad to worse. Not only did they have to abandon their $5 million rig, the lake was growing. It went from 10 feet deep to 200 feet deep because the salt mine tunnels crisscrossed the rock under the lake. Lake water was now rushing into the mine through the rapidly expanding 14-inch hole in the salt dome, with the force 10 times that of a fire hydrant. 50 miners were racing the rising waters, using mine carts and an agonizingly slow elevator to exit the mine eight at a time. The sinkhole they created, though, wasn't done terrorizing them, as it then turned into a whirlpool that caused even more damage and became the biggest man-made whirlpool in the history of the world. Who knew? The canal changed direction due to the sinkhole whirlpool and salt water from the Gulf of Mexico flooded into the muddy lake bed. To this day, the lake is still a muddy saltwater lake and not exactly a great place to hang out and relax anymore. At this point, you might wonder, how did they screw this up? Did they really not know about the mine? Well, the people behind it, Texaco, actually did know about the mine, but the map they were using had it wrong. As a result, instead of digging into a free area, they dug into one of the shafts of the mine, thus creating a mega whirlpool sinkhole of death. Nobody died though, but given how dangerous the sinkhole was, it could have gone very differently. Number four, Katara Depression. The Katara Depression is a treacherous lowland covering 7,500 square miles in the area near the Egyptian-Libyan border. It's shaped roughly like a huge footprint, as if a wandering giant had stepped in from the Mediterranean Sea into the Sahara and left a big squishy mess. There are many sinkholes that have formed in the deserts of Egypt, and over time, the world's biggest sinkhole formed, as salt in the soil eroded the rock into sand, which was then blown away by the powerful Saharan winds. Eventually, hundreds of feet of bedrock were eaten away, exposing the water table beneath. The area is now a huge, muddy, salty, quicksand-like pit. However, what might be the most extraordinary thing about this sinkhole is what humanity intends to do with it. What can we do with a sinkhole? you might be asking. The answer to that is a project called the Katara Depression Project. The project aims to fill the tunnels with water. When it fills up, eventually the depression will become a lake the size of Lake Erie. Then the heat of the desert would cause evaporation and then result in a water cycle being formed and providing vast amounts of hydroelectric power along the way. Problem? Well, no one knows really if it'll work because it'll take about 160 years to do. But hey, guess we gotta try. Number three, Guatemala City Sinkhole. A sinkhole coming out of nowhere in a bustling city is definitely bad news. And in Guatemala City, the residents had to experience that exact unfortunate and apocalyptic catastrophe. A massive hole opened up right in the middle of the city. The hole was 30 stories deep and 65 feet wide and formed a near perfect circle. The massive hole gobbled several buildings and nearly an entire intersection. 1,000 people were evacuated, but not before the quickly formed pit tragically stole two lives. 
homes. For almost two years prior to this, residents had been complaining of rumblings in the area. After investigation, authorities found the reason the sinkhole formed was because a sewage pipe leaked and slowly degraded large amounts of earth around it. Apparently, the hole had a really bad smell when it formed. Number two, Seri Serinama. Seri Serinama is one of the most bizarre landscapes on our planet, also one of the most remote. High in the clouds on a tabletop mountain, are four huge sinkholes, all of them near perfect circles. It looks like a giant poked the earth a few times. The largest of the four is 1,150 feet wide and 1,000 feet deep. The other three are not quite as big, but equally impressive and drop off in the middle of the lush forest on top of the mountain. A mysterious local legend, according to the natives in the area, say a flesh-eating evil spirit lived there and made the sound sari sari when consuming human meat. Though there are no actual human-eating spirits on the mountain, the desolation and story adds a level of eeriness to the surroundings. Each hole contains unique ecosystems with many distinct plants and animal species found nowhere else on Earth. The view of these gigantic holes from the air is quite stunning. Number 1. Mount Gambier so throughout this video, sinkholes have been getting kind of a bad rap. We've seen the images of houses being sucked into oblivion when Earth's hidden trap doors suddenly open. But what if a sinkhole was more Garden of Eden than Diabolic Pit of Hell? The Aperston sinkhole in the Mount Gambier region in Australia was once a typical limestone cave that was formed by the corrosion of limestone rocks by seawater waves. The sinkhole was naturally created when the chamber's roof collapsed. Now it has been magically transformed into to a beautiful sunken garden where people can enjoy a visit free of charge. Curtains of hanging ivy drape from terraced walls and the floor is abloom with native and exotic vegetation. It feels like you just walk into this magical place, says Dutch tourist Ellen Antoine. It could be something from a fairy tale. It's beautiful, definitely worth a visit. So. Okay, without a doubt, sinkholes can be incredibly destructive, but also beautiful, grand, and extraordinary. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these sinkholes that appear out of nowhere? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!